Listen. So Sonia Allen, the alleged, I have to say alleged, former mistress, sometimes bed partner, alleged bed partner. I look at it like she's a player that played the game like it's supposed to be played. You gonna sleep with a man, a woman, man, keep your mouth shut and take all of the money and get upgraded to your better house, better job. Because allegedly one of those houses um, Fanny Willis is over there living in was the same house that um, he, you know, he, I guess he had so yeah, Allen living in. I don't know if she lived there. Anyway, cops, man breaks into county-owned SUV and takes the chief deputy's purse. I keep telling you, she was a chief deputy. Marietta residence, Christopher Lamont Hall and Daria Michelle Young are charged in connection with the breaking, blah, blah, blah. Again, this is Sonia Allen. Two people have been charged after a purse belonging to Cobb County. Cobb County is the same county that as of Friday, the co-deputy, the co-deputy district attorney or the co-district attorney, I don't know a proper um, title, but it's co-deputy district attorney. Ms. Yeager, that's her name. She's the one who submitted something to Trump's lawyers to state that she will testify under oath in the event that Fannie Willis was not um, disqualified. You know, Ms. Yeager is the one that says she was talking to Terrence Bradley in Kyle County Prosecute District Attorney's Office when Fannie Willis called her him on the phone and said, don't, they're after us, don't tell them nothing. Now keep this in mind. This incident happened January, 2020. She was, Sonia Allen was the Cobb County Sheriff Office Chief Chief Deputy. I told you she had over 30 years experience. A lot of it was in the police department. And then she mysteriously got hired. Fanny Willis wanted to take the credit and said she hired her. But now we come to find out, I wanna say we, now information has been shared through the hearings that uh, um, Nathan Wade was actually the one doing all the hiring and fire. It just happened to be the woman he was sleeping with. What is this dude right here? It's a cold uh, Nathan Wade, something else. This And while Fanny Willis was telling on his wife, that's why he was over there doing whatever, okay. Hall broke into the front passenger side window of a black Chevy Tahoe owned by the county government and took Allen's pink case spade purse. Well, I'm sure now she's wearing a Louis Vuitton and Gucci. She may even have a Chanel now that uh, Nathan Wade got over 600, close to $600,000 from the office. I mean, she had to get something. They said she was steady sleeping with him while he was messing with um, Fannie Willis. I do not blame her because Fannie Willis, that is not your man. You cheat with a married man, you need to get cheated on. He should have did just what he did. Dog you out and elevated his mistress. The one that he's keeping, they haven't said out a word about, Sonia Allen. But that Cobb County prosecutor, she sure said, I mean, that district attorney, she sure said something Friday when she submitted those papers to the Supreme Court. Okay. According to, a, I mean, to the Senate office that submitted the papers to the Supreme Court. According to a warrant issued for his arrest, the vehicle was parked in front of City Club Marietta. I'm saying that because of the address. Now, you guys can go Google it. I don't want to say anything. According to an incident report released by Marietta Police, which is investigating the incident with the sheriff's office, Allen said she parked the vehicle at 11.30 a.m. and returned to the parking lot at 1.24 p.m. to find the car vandalized and her purse missing. The bag contained Allen's wallet and probably had a cell phone, agency credentials, and her Georgia boy identification. Um, didn't I tell you this lady was... Georgia Barr, so she was more than qualified to work over there, right up under Fannie Willis, you know, in the district attorney office, because she was working hand in hand. You know, that man had both his women 
Hey, listen here, Sonya. I'm going to put you in the office because I don't trust her. She real slick. I'm going to put you in the office so you can watch everything she's doing. Don't say nothing because you may get fired. He put this woman right up under Fanny. Watch these women. They're grinning and laughing in your face and be messing with your man. But I don't blame her because she was married. She, he was married anyway. She do not. Sonya, hold on. Sonya, Allen don't own that lady nothing. That's why she came storming in that courtroom, mad as hell, and was trying to. Don't ask her this because she didn't want everybody in YouTube landing in the United States of America to the world to know that she got played like a piano, like I said way before they went to disqualification here. And I told you, Nathan Wade was a whore and he was playing Fanny Willis like a sugar mama. I told you guys that. But since my China was smaller, no one, I guess you guys didn't believe me. According to the one, Howell and Young used Allen's bank card to purchase an Apple iPhone, blah, 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 blah. Forget all that. Let's go to this right here. Bear with me for a second. These are the two people. Now, I could be real dirty. Well, I'm going to be real dirty. I'm going to tell you this. Christopher Lamont Hall, Daria Michelle Young, why don't you guys cross-reference that and see if Christopher Lamont Hall has any correlation with Nathan Wade, Terrence Bradley, or their other lawyer, Christopher or Fanny Willis. Because <laughs> you know she was beautiful so bad. Uh, but you know who called? Jocelyn is the coldest one between Jocelyn and Seth. Jocelyn and Sonya, they should just be friends. When I tell you these two right here, the wife and the mistress, they played his ass like a piano. Hold on, you guys. Let me show you something. Give me a second. Hold on. Give me one second, okay? I want to show you this. Here we go. I want to show you this. So let's see who we're dealing with. Here is Sonya Allen. There she is. There she is. I don't like the picture. Let's not see that one. Hold on. Let's not show that. See how she's standing so prim and proper with her legs close together, her arms covered. It says Sonya Allen for Cobb County. That's Cobb County for Cobb District Attorney Office. Mm. Democrats for Sonia Allen, Democrat for District Attorney. Let's see what date this was. I want you guys to pay attention. Let's just let's just look at something. I want I want you guys to see how cold she is. You guys are gonna be like, she is not cold. Yes, she is. But she act like a mistress supposed to ask. I'm not condoning anybody cheating with married men. I'm just telling you, gonna cheat with a married man. Cheat like her, keep your mouth closed, come up and go on by your way. Like she did. Okay, it doesn't it doesn't tell us the date on it. We'll find something else. But look at her. See how she got her hair pretty all the time. She dressed very conservatively, but very feminine. Yes, I am gonna talk about her because look at her, always smiling. I guess if I guess if you messing with a married man that made you the deputy district. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. I wasn't gonna say nothing about this, but I could, you know, I couldn't even. I, I said, "Fuck it." I'm gonna say something about it because I'm so sick of y'all. I keep on talking about Fanny Willis. Fanny, oh here she go. Oh, that's not none of her. Hold on. Y'all keep talking about her. Look how she now. Look at her. Mad, mad at the world. I know. Fuck this dude. Gave him a job. Put him on, and he got this bitch working right next to me. <laughs> Leave those square dudes alone. When I tell you, you'll be better off just getting you, uh, if you're going to be doing something like this, get you a regular street dude. But I'm going to show you. This is what I want to show everybody. You ready for this? Are you guys ready for this? Because you guys act like people don't know what they're talking about. Boom! Here it is right here. What that say? It says, hold on. Wrote the legal handbook on Nell and the Mafia. Guess who this man is? Guess what his name is? Um, is it Fanny Willis' daddy named John Floyd? Well, guess what? This is John E. Floyd. He wrote the legal handbook on Nell and the Mafia. 
Hold on. These are people that, hold on. These, no, these are the people that Nathan Wade had allegedly switched over their neck. <clears throat> Anti-corruption defense turned prosecutor. The DA investigator or who hates corruption. Top cop with 30 years experience. Well, Fanny got rid of everybody except this man right here. Now, why did Fanny get rid of Sonia Allen, John Floyd, and the investigator? So let me tell you, I know y'all can say, well, okay, I'm gonna keep the camera still. You guys may not agree with this, but just hear me out. If I was embezzling money, which I would not do, if I was laundering money, which I would not do, but if I was a crook that was going to launder some money and I found a lawyer named John E. Floyd, who's about the same age as my dad, maybe a little younger. You know, when you're embezzling money, the money doesn't show what color it is, what color, what race a person is. You guys do know that they was trying to act like her dad had something to do with this case. But they called him in to testify. And they kept asking him, when did you find out about this and how long was you there? And did Fanny go here, da, 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 da. I've already told you guys that his dad represented a guy that was charged with the Rwandan genocide where over 800,000 to a million black people lost their lives. When I say black, I mean melanated, brown skin, caramel, complected, anybody from this shade to the darkest shade that you can um, think of. And some people are very light skinned who are uh, in Rwanda also. Everybody in Rwanda is not dark skinned, but most of them are brown skinned to dark. Well, they're all black, not really black because there's no such thing as black and white, but I'll just say brown, brown, melanated people with a hue, a darker hue. Let's say that. I'm not going to call those black and then call them Caucasian. So, Sonia Allen was over at the police department because she ran for Cobb County District Attorney. But she was over at the police department for a long time. Then she, um, was on this team, some kind of way, she ended up over her working side by side with Fannie Willis. These was the original people that were supposed to prosecute Donald Trump. Notice Nathan Wade is not on her. But that's because these people are all qualified. And it just so happened that Sonya Allen had been sleeping with Nathan Wade. And guess who didn't know? Fanny, the home wrecking, that looks very dowdy and always look like she's disheveled and she doesn't know what time her kids came to visit her. All she can remember is every time Nathan Wade came. So, all of these people are gone. So again, that's Brian Watkins. John Floyd, Sonia Allen, and Raymond Barr, B-A-E-R. But Sonia Allen served as her right-hand woman. This is why Fannie Willis was so angry. Remember when she barged into the courtroom and said, I was just downstairs. I was down there. And they said, well, how did you know? Because Ashley Merchant, that's why she was so upset with Ashley Merchant. Because Ashley Merchant exposed Nathan Wade. She made him, she didn't make him do anything. He made it very clear that he had been to certain places, but he had only been there once with Nate, with um, Fannie Willis. She got upset because she didn't want anybody to know, in my opinion, I think that she got upset because she was in her feelings and she already knew and that's why she brought up the fact yeah then we had to have a talk to save face all she had to do was say we had to have a talk because he was messing with 
um, Sonya Allen, you know, the lady that worked in my office, they did put the bitch and gave her a job. Well, I'm not, Sonya, I'm not, Miss Sonya, I'm not trying to call you a bitch. This is just for um, YouTube purposes. Because you know, the people get in the comments and say, I like you and I don't like Fanny Woods, but I don't like her. So I had to be, I had to sell you some equilibrium. All I'm saying, if I was embezzling money and my daddy's name was John Floyd, I would say, John Floyd, let me hire him, give him a little check. Then I'll steal all the money and put it in different people's names, including my daddy, who I thought was going to be able to be over in Africa until them Africans told him they didn't want him over there. And they didn't want to, one of my people said it was renew his visa. But I don't think it was just renew his visa. I think they banned his ass from being over there. I can't find proof. That's just what I think. You know, you can stay over in Africa for a certain amount of time, just like you could go from Mexico and come back for six months, have a many people. I mean, he'll lie. He could just go over there with the rest of those prisoners. I don't know why they didn't charge the other John Floyd with treason. You know, he went over there and said the UN, the United Nations, had, he had some documents or something, some kind of confidential documents that John Floyd, um, Fannie Willis' dad, the lawyer that claimed he was a Black Panther, but you know, a Black Panther would never defend nobody that's killing people that look like us. I've never seen a Black Panther in my life do nothing like Well, I wasn't alive when they, I wasn't born yet when they was running around there being Black Panthers. I look, respect the Black Panthers. Geronimo Pratt, Atula Shakur, uh, Afeni Shakur. I, can't, I, I know that Johnny Cochran represented two of them and promised and vowed that there was going to be one thing he did before he died and he got Geronimo Pratt. Was it Geronimo Pratt after 27 years? He got him out of jail. There was one promise he made, then he died. But anyway, have a good day.